Let us focus on a future of hope and of opportunity for the city of Thunder Bay. Now, as one city of nearly 110,000 people, we are ready to take our rightful place as the sixth largest city in Ontario. But let us not deceive ourselves. If progress is to be achieved, we must, we, we must work not in opposing fact, factions, but in unity for the good of the entire community. One essential aspect of this unity must have the Council of Thunder Bay working in close harmony with our other boards and commissions, especially the Board of Education. I have enjoyed the liaison with the previous Board of Education, and I am confident that the Lakehead Board and Council will work together to define the priorities of our capital budget. I therefore request the Super Finance Committee be formed between the Council of Thunder Bay and the Board of Education to assess capital priorities within our ability to pay. We must also work in close liaison and planning. There is no sense in having housing developments springing all around us without alerting the Board of Education as to the school needs. Recognizing that we have a limited budget to work with, we must ensure that any future expansion is sound and reasonable. It is my hope and desire to involve as many citizens of our community in helping us plan for the future. The advice of our citizens can be instrumental in forming the future policies of council. The biggest challenge in the 70s is coordinating the functions of the three levels of government, federal, provincial, and municipal. It is time that we work closer together to effectively attack the problems facing Canadians. It is time we assess priorities. It is time we determine which level of government is best equipped to deal with each of our needs. The property owner is faced with an ever-increasing burden. His taxes must pay for education, pollution control, and many other programs. It is therefore imperative for the federal and provincial governments to assist the municipalities in alleviating the heavy pressure on the property tax. Municipalities are prepared to accept their responsibilities, but the federal and provincial governments cannot unload their functions on the municipalities without also giving the municipalities a voice in the formulation and execution of policies. We are no longer satisfied to have functions just thrust upon us. In the meantime, I would strongly urge that we continue with our urban renewal scheme in the North Ward of Thunder Bay. Intensive negotiations are now taking place with the developers interested in the commercial reconstruction of the blighted area of this section. And the selection of the su successful developer or developers will be carried out in the near future. Not only is it the objective of urban renewal to improve the function and appearance of rundown areas for commercial buildings and residences as well, but also to increase tax revenues to provide an optimum balance between commercial and residential assessments. Urban renewal means more than rebuilding. Renewal implies rejuvenation of the spirit as well as the physical replacement of old with new. Simply rebuilding without renewal can actually kill our central cities. For cities are more than brick and mortar. They are the flesh and blood of their inhabitants. When a city decays physically, so does the quality of life of those who live there. For those who say urban renewal is ne necessarily a slow process, I say that deterioration and despair are fast processes and ferociously expensive in terms of wasted opportunities, wasted money, wasted lives. I have often repeated the saying that the cost of doing nothing is very expensive. I believe the battle is worth fighting, that the cause is good, and that we can win. I appeal to all of you to help me make this a community of truth and understanding. A real community is both an atmosphere and an environment. It is the product of communion among people concerned about the problems of their neighbors. It is this quality of life I want to see in the city of Thunder Bay. And I pledge myself to the establishment of such a community. You have demonstrated your confidence in me at the polls. 
Now I ask you to demonstrate your willingness to help create amongst ourselves a community based on harmony, understanding, and love. To this task, I solicit your help.